I'm John Bolger with Premier Guitar. Today we're doing a review demo of the New Vibe by Korg. This is a faithful reproduction of the beloved and very hard to find Univibe. Actually, and they employed the, the same uh, designer, a man named, and let me get this right, Fumio Mieda. It sounds a little Spanish when I say it, but it's a Japanese name. Anyway, um, it's really interesting what Korg did because they, they went their goal was to recreate this, but of course, a lot of these parts are unavailable today. But they went to great lengths to to uh, recreate the original sound and give you a lot more options to take it to the next level. Modern things like true bypass, offering DC power as long as well as um, powering it with six AA batteries, which we're using right now. Now, before I tell you more about this very cool pedal, I'll tell you about everything else in the signal chain. I'm playing my my uh, custom uh, PRS, uh, which is a guitar. It's an all maple guitar they made for me a few years ago, and I'm running it directly into the pedal. The pedal, as I said, is being run on battery power, uh, and then we're running from that into a Mesa Boogie Lone Star in the clean and dirty channels, and they're both basically flat, although in the dirty channel, I rolled down the bass a little bit. We're micing it with the Royer R121 mic, and that's running into an FG Quartet and into Pro Tools. Whew. So that's a lot of stuff. Um, but, well, essentially, I'm just plugging straight into the pedal and going. Now, this pedal is a big pedal, much like the original one. But back in the day, when the Univod first came out, you could make a pedal as big as you wanted because people didn't really use more than one or two at tops. So... It's a big pedal, but I think that's kind of cool. That's kind of part of the vibe, you might say. <laughs> and uh, it comes with its own pro proprietary uh, expression pedal, which again is built like an absolute tank. Big, heavy, bulky, but cool. Now, as I said, the original designer, here's his smiling face on the back of it, was employed by the company, which I think is so cool that, you know, it's kind of like how Seth Lover came back with pickups, you know. It's, it's a wonderful tip of the hat, and it shows an authenticity to the tone. Okay, here's what I love about this pedal. Most pedals, hell, most gear, um, amps or whatever, are really, it, it all comes down to a tiny computer chip. This thing has 79 independent transistors in it. That's just, it's big and expensive because that's a lot of man hours. That's a lot of stuff. And a cool, a very cool update from the original is right here. These 10 bands let you dial in anything from like a traditional univibe tone that you'd expect to a to a kind of weird, distinct vibrato or even almost like a wah-ish kind of thing. So, and what I also love, you get a visual clue to how fast you're going. I'm controlling it with the uh, with the foot pedal right now, but that's pretty cool. Sort of mesmerizing. Okay, here are the ingredients. Uh, uh, an on or standby switch. Volume, which I've got all the way up, um, but it's nice to have that option to be able to turn it down. We have chorus and vibrato. Control right there on the fly. And quiet. I'm not hearing a single pop. Um, on off switch there intensity which of course I've got all the way up and right here is speed But I'll be controlling the speed with the proprietary foot pedal because it's just great to have it right there and dial in as you go It's a it's it's hard to dial with a with a switch because you can't really play so anyway That's a few of the features. I love Why don't I just spin a few knobs and you can kind of see what it does? I think what it does Oops, let's turn it on, you'll be able to hear it better. How dreamy is that, right? Now I'll turn back the intensity a little bit. Let's put it 
right up there. Pretty cool. Now let's get into some weirdness. I found kind of a cool cool deal is to bring make this just as radical as you can make it up and down um, alternating like that it's kind of like that old um, I don't know if you're familiar with that on the boss EQs those little EQ pedals if you run them radically like that one up one down one up one down you get like a dobro sound which is pretty cool so let's see what this does <laughs> It's weird to get almost like a, a weird little subtone thing going like that. You can kind of tailor this wherever you like. When you put a little dirt on it, it becomes more subtle, but like a weird, uh, like kind of a weird subtle chorus. Freaky. Okay, let's get into the more traditional settings. I'm going to put the EQ pretty much like they suggested, only with a little less of that mid-range dive. And then let's try the vibrato. I thought this was just cool, man. I'm going to give a little more intensity. Now, the thing I like about this, uh, the proprietary expression pedal is all the way back, it's off. Which is pretty cool. You can just have it, you know, right there at your at your foot switch, rather than having to step on it even. So you can leave it on and just bring it in as you feel like it. So in the vibrato, But it's pretty cool to be able to match, you know, like your finger vibrato with that foot vibrato. Kind of let the intensity work together. Very cool setting. And I've found with um, other Univibes, I rarely dig the vibrato setting. It's always like the chorus is where the money is. But in this one, vibrato is cool. So let's get into some of the classic Univibe tones. Put it back on chorus, add a little dirt, get a good Hendrix kind of thing. Man, that's, that is pretty awesome. Now, another thing I found is when you just find like one frequency, or like, you know, say these back two, turn up the intensity, get something cool like that. It's really like a vibrato. You can really hear the, even on the chorus saying. That, that to me, you can almost hear that, hear that thump, thump. Pretty cool. It's almost like a, uh, like a tube driven vibrato turned way up. So that is the basics of the new vibe by Korg. To read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. And while you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook. 
We have so much content on there, we can really make the most of your time wasting time. Also, go to our YouTube channel, check out all our other videos, including rig rundowns, and why not, buy the hard copy, it's fun. This is John Bollinger, peace out. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.